Hello everyone, this video will talk about optical multiplexer and demultiplexer. So, let's start. First, what is optical multiplexer and demultiplexer? Optical multiplexer and demultiplexer are basically passive optical filter systems which are arranged to process specific wavelengths in and out of the transport system, usually optical fiber. How multiplexer works? First, it selects one of the two end inputs on the end route to the output. Second, a multiplexer of two end input has end select lines. They are used to select which input line to send to the output. And third, multiplexer mainly used to increase the amount of data over the network within a certain amount of time and bandwidth. Next, how the multiplexer works? First, it performs the reverse operation of the multiplexer. The multiplexer has only one input, and selectors, and two end outputs. Second, depending on the combination of the select lines, one of the output will be selected to take the state of the input. Third, the multiplexer converts serial data signals at the input to a parallel data at its output line. Optical Multiplexer and Demultiplexer Principle Optical Multiplexer and Demultiplexer are required to multiplex and demultiplex various wavelengths onto a single fiber link. Each specific input and output will be used for a single wavelength. One optical filter system can act as both multiplexer and demultiplexer. Optical Multiplexer and Demultiplexer are basically passive optical filter systems which arrange to process specific wavelengths in and out of the transport system. Process of filtering the wavelength can be performed using prism, thin film filter, and dichroic filters or interference filters. The filtering materials are used to selectively reflect a single wavelength of light but pass all other transparently. Each filter is tuned for a specific wavelength. Multiplexing technique. Multiplexer were divided into two, which is analog and digital. Frequency division multiplexing. Analog multiplexing used to tie analog signal together. This type of multiplexing is effective when the bandwidth of the link is better than the transmitted signal united bandwidth. In FDM, by transmitting different device modulated carrier frequency, signals are generated and then these are united into a single signal that can be moved by connection. Example, FDM included in TV and radio signal transmission. Wavelength Division Multiplexing WDM modulates several light spectrum data stream usually used in optical fiber. Several light waves from many sources are joined to receive light signal that will be transmitted to the receiver across the channel. Time Division Multiplexer TDM is one of multiplexer types that connect data stream by allocating specific time slot in set for each stream. It frequently transfer or send different time slot over one transmission channel in one order. Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexer An optical technology used in a dense wavelength division multiplexing to expand bandwidth into a fiber optic. Operated by combining various signals at different wavelengths simultaneously. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexer OFDM used a large number of carriers in which each carrying low bitrate data means it is highly resilient to selective fading, interruption, and multipass effect and also some providing high spectral efficiency. Now let me explain application of multiplexer and demultiplexer. First, bandwidth is the biggest scale resources in telecommunications. Second, to reduce hardware cost, you can use one multiplexing system to combine and transmit multiple signals from location A to location B. Third, each wavelength can carry multiple signals. Fourth, multiplexer and demultiplexer serve optical signal switching in the telecommunication and other signal processing and transmission fields. 